Hello and welcome to my first journal flip through. I've been a diary writer for about 20 years but I thought this year I would try a more visual kind of journaling and I was given this lovely diary by my auntie when my first novel was published and it seemed like a great place to, to start that more visual style of journaling. Um, as you can see I've started putting washi tape on the ends of pages to separate months and kind of block those out bit arduous actually <laughs> in the long term but it's quite a nice way of separating the months. This elastic band sort of holding it together because the binding is slightly struggling under how much and the pressure of how much I'm putting into this book. Um, this little postcard here it's, it's a telegram postcard I got from Waterstones ages ago it's got my journal code which I use for when I'm planning. Um, this little envelope I was given in one of my snail mail packages from a pen pal and it's got all about fairy tales which I thought was really cute and just various stickers that I've been sent uh, or that have really um, spoken to me you know uh, stickers speak to me sometimes <laughs> um, about who I am or the kind of fun things that I enjoy looking at um, this next page is just really my 2017 to-do list which I write one of those every year and hit most of the things on the list I made this tab by just sticking a piece of card to that page this is quite plain I started out with a few stickers um, and mostly text, milkshakes because I was writing about my Starlight Diner books. Unfortunately, I can't seem to grasp that I can't draw in felt tip on one side without it coming through, and that's a, a theme you will see in this book going through it. Um, if I just show you on the other side of this page, yep, there's the rainbow that you can see all the way through the other side, and because I can't understand that the pages are too thin. Um, but let me just flip to March which is really where I start to develop my the style that I'm most comfortable with and um, this is a page all about my name and that's um, a logo from a film magazine I used to edit that I commissioned an illustrator to create and she's holding a little torch above her head which really speaks to me personally um, because my name Helen actually means light so I love that um and this is a quote that I made up and I just really liked it and shared it on Twitter and Instagram and then decided to put a whole page of lettering on this side but then of course that showed through on the other side <laughs> so I had to stick in if I show you um, some other kind of paper over the top of it so that I could write on it and I really liked this notebook it was really cheap but I had this cute little stereo vintage stereo system so I decided to write a little piece about my sort of old-fashioned heart my vintage heart and use my stickers um, to sort of illustrate that um, and put, just put washi tape around the edges this is probably my favorite spread or one of them in my journal so far um, definitely the, for March it is um, the lettering and this illustration of the daffodil here daffodils are my favorite flower and I'm kind of scared of drawing so I was proud of myself although I made a little mistake there that I had to washi over after I'd posted this spread to social media so everyone got to see me um, my little raw first draft um, making a mistake in the text but you know it's just all fun um, a little bit more work on lettering which I'm trying to develop and this little quote that I wrote here that life is a, is, isn't is about finding yourself it's life's about creating yourself and that's by George Bernard Shaw and I just made this little pocket out of an old envelope and then I found this this is supposed to be used for bunting um, in a local craft shop you're supposed to like use it as the H for like happy birthday or something but I instead decided to use it for this little insert and I just wrote a little bit about myself on the back of it um, just to add a little bit of interest to this page which is mostly text. Um, you may have noticed that Britain's undergoing a little bit of political shift at the moment. I wrote this um, poem that I posted to Twitter that was kind of a scare about a sign about Jewish people um, and it, I wrote this poem and it got a ridiculous number of retweets and I just kind of journaled about the kind of political tensions in our country at the moment and all this kind of stuff um, to do with England and its unity with the other parts of you know the great the British Isles um, Friday Eve is what I've taken to calling Thursday <laughs> and this this was actually all about uh, London because I've recently moved to London and it wasn't it was a tricky move it wasn't really 
one of my favorite places um it's not really one of my favorite places but i'm trying to sort of come to terms with that and i wrote over an old map here and this i made when i first moved to london years and years ago on, on my first trip to london where i ended up staying um and it's kind of a mind map of the area i lived in like my first flat in london although the ink has smudged because it's really old and i just kind of put together all these ideas about fitzrovia which is the area i first lived in i made it years ago and i didn't really know it would end up in a journal someday um and more text because that's you know i'm a writer so uh, although you can see again I've used text on the other side that's bled through. I'm never going to learn that lesson. <laughs> I'll still be doing that at the end of this journal. Um, but, you know, it's colourful. I kind of like the the lo-fi effect that creates. I knew I was going to a diner, so I had all these little bits and pieces. I was going for a friend's birthday, so I had all these really happy-go-lucky stickers. A little bit about food, uh, my relationship with food on that side. But there again, I've drawn on it and the ink has run through from the cherry. Um, I'm just that smart. I just, you know, a little bit of washi tape there to finish off the look. Um, this is all about um, Eagle Daily Journals, part of my pen pal club. They do a daily prompt for journal. And this is about writing about letters you've received and i loved this i cut this off an envelope and it says caution filled with mikey love and he wasn't kidding about the cupids as well because when i opened the envelope all these little glittery red cupids fell out of it which was really sweet of him to include i made these little hearts and actually this little bit on the top here is the backing to an envelope uh, i just kind of dismantled it and you can see again i've used the backing this was the letter i got and it I think Catherine, who sent me the letter, said she got it from Paper Chase. And she folded this letter into a cute little heart. And it wasn't a great day for me when I received this letter. So that massively cheered me up. And I'll probably stick more stamps on the front of there as I get more through the post. Um, that envelope just includes the letter from the envelope I cut up on that other page. Um, Mikey's letter there I just put all the contents in there um yeah I'm not sure about cutting up an envelope and then replacing it with another one but never mind it's, it's probably logic somewhere more backing there of the envelope um and this I don't know if you can see it my camera will focus fries before guys Catherine put that on front of the envelope because uh my second novel um HarperCollins decided it would be titled secrets and fries at the starlight diner <laughs> so she decided to put that stamp on my envelope which i love this was all about spring equinox um so ideas about plant life i did a little illustration they call me the wild rose um is a quote from a nick cave song and i um kind of identify with it because i'm from yorkshire and people call me the white rose just a few of my friends do so i decided to um, sort of paraphrase that and write down some of the lyrics to my favourite song and it gave me an opportunity to do a bit more hand lettering which I'm working on. Okay, I'm not the best collage artist in the world but I just fancied putting together a nice spread about spring. Did you like that seamless transition there I had to cut because I ran out of memory card? <laughs> this is a poem that I wrote for Spring Equinox and Here's me sitting at the top here with my favourite flowers, daffodils, writing on Spring Equinox. I pasted this flowered paper to the page with PVA and it sort of had an effect on the other side of the page. So that was a lesson learned about what you kind of can't get away from. It's kind of all uh, shriveled. <laughs> um, but yeah, a bit of ink run there as well. But you know, I do love this anchor washi tape and I love writing about the ocean and the natural world. So I'm still cool with all this and um, I did a couple of little illustrations, a lighthouse and a little shell, you know, just basic little illustrations. Though again, I wrote in big lettering on this side and it shows a little bit through. This was about my new job that I'm starting at City Lit, which I'm really excited about. Um, it's just a picture of the building from one of their leaflets. And this um, little pocket here, I this was just a bag that I got given when I bought some chocolate from my, from my mother and I just thought it was cute London design and then these little photographs are from when we went out to a place called Southern Joe's to eat and my husband is both Southern and called Joe so we were 
having a lot of fun acting like complete idiots and photographing like the napkins and stuff um <laughs> i think that they were glad to see the back of us um and then i did some more text writing here this was a big day for me because it was my first day teaching at city lit i just stood in for another teacher and um so i was very excited and it was like the first monday in a very long time where i just felt like i was exactly where i was meant to be and then this last entry for march um is all about beauty and the beast and i got this cute little sparkly washi tape that's kind of princess style and you know they give away those like really cheap stickers to promote the movie you've got some of those just stuck in there and then april um, strawberries are a theme because I happened across some British strawberries in the supermarket and I go absolutely nuts with them. Oh, cheap glue. I need to re-glue that down. <laughs> but this is my April tab and just a sneak preview that the first entry of April is all about strawberries and how much I love them. But you'll have to come back for the April video to see it all and that's all I'm going to show you for today. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed looking at that. It's been a real pleasure for me um, during my downtime to put that together. And I hope you found a couple of inspiring ideas for your own journal.